Murph, I think it's not really been too many times this season we can say we were not outplayed but didn't really create enough and I think today was the first day we can kind of stand up and say we just probably just didn't create enough did we? No we, we didn't create enough I don't think they created too much either I can't really remember Connor Walsh being that busy we, we switch off in the 43rd minute it's a lack of concentration and then we can see the poor goal second half we came out we huffed and we puffed we created a few half chances nothing of real note and in the end over the pace didn't do enough to win the game but I don't think they did enough to win the game as I say the goal comes from lack of concentration in our part two people fall asleep one doesn't track the runner for the cross and the other one doesn't track the runner into the box and at this level of the game you need to be concentrated for the full 94, 95 minutes and, and that wasn't the case so good luck to Ian and, and, and Bray you know they capitalised uh, on us maybe falling asleep for that for that one minute and once you fall behind in, in this league it's a very very difficult league you just have to look at the league table again three points separate second to sixth so it's a very competitive league Longford have been able to win a carry as well so it just goes to show you that it, it is fine 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 margins in winning games and losing games again you know lot draws again Wexford and Cork draw and then the rest of the games are, are so tight it's a goal here and a goal there and unfortunately this evening we ended up in the end of, of the wrong result just through uh, a lack of concentration levels near the end of the first half Yeah, I suppose then with two games in the weekend you can know, force your hand into making a couple of changes as well you know it's rest a couple of bodies too and you know, you... I think it's I think it's difficult I know people maybe look at it and go yeah you made changes my hands were tied a great deal we have four players out injured and then obviously of the panel of 22 three of them are goalkeepers so you've 18 and then you drop down to the four out you've 15 players and 11 of them put in a massive shift on Friday night at, at Finn Park. It's very difficult for them to come here again this weekend when you take the travel into account to do that again and I just can't afford to lose bodies. So it was a matter of trying to, to juggle the squad. Obviously it gave other players opportunities. They've come in, some have took them, some haven't. Again we freshened it up at half time where we, we made three changes and then we made a further two changes in the second half. It, it did make us better, there's no question about that but overall we just didn't do enough and I would always say I'm quite honest in that. And, you know, over the course of the of the 90 minutes, we certainly didn't do enough to win the game. Uh, we probably helped Bray along with, as I say, the lack of concentration for the goal. It's a poor goal to give away on our part. But outside that, I think Connor makes one save in the first half. And, and outside that, there's very, very little. But likewise, you could say the exact same about the Bray goalkeeper. Had very little to do this evening. So that's something we have to look at. Yeah, I suppose, you know, you talk about fine margins as well. We did create a couple of half chances, if you like, you know, and another another night that effort from Ryan Rainey could have sailed into the back of the net as well, and you could be talking about a different outcome. But yeah, goals change games, Nigel. You know that yourself. There's there's no question about that. But uh, you know, there also seems to be a reluctance in us as players to get shots off around the edge of 18 yard box. I do remember in the, the second half we have two or three opportunities where we're 18, 19 yards out, but we we don't pull the trigger. We're trying to play the. the the, the perfect pass, you know, instead of maybe getting a shot and hoping that deflection maybe takes it one way or another way. We just didn't we just didn't do enough in the final third, you know. We didn't put enough ball in the box, we didn't often ask questions. So look I'm certainly not going to stand here and complain about the result. I'm just disappointed in the manner of the goal that we concede to lose us the game. So that's something we have to do. Dust ourselves down off tomorrow, in Wednesday, in Thursday, game Friday and, and, and go again. We talked about it on Friday night as well, that, that wee bit of composure in front of goal. Maybe that's something that kind of translate out the park as well. Is, is there an element of players maybe trying to force the play or force passages of play or something? Maybe it's just something that's not quite right in the headspace, maybe? Is it? Man, we just picked the wrong decisions. Bad decision-making in the final third, right across the, the whole team. And, and that's 
ultimately when you get yourself into that position, too many times this evening in the game we get in we get in, in wide areas and we don't beat the first man. We're across into the box, you know, the delivery into the box is poor, it's easy to defend. We need to do better when we get into them areas. We need to take opportunities and, 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 and be brave and take chances around the 18-yard box. Again, that's something we haven't done. We'll show the players that back on Wednesday that there was opportunities in and around the 18-yard box to, to get a shot off and we don't do that. So, again, look, hugely disappointed. There's no question because again we have lost the game one nil, and it's a game that there was very very little in. Uh, to Brace credit, they didn't make any mistakes to give us opportunities. We make the ultimate one mistake in the first half and it cost us the game. Yeah, and big travelling support down on a Monday afternoon as well. You know, to their credit, stuck around to the end and cheered the team off. And, oh, know, here, the, the, there's one thing uh, that I'll always stand over. They've been magnificent from the day and hour. I walked in through the door of the football club as number two and now as the head coach. They are a magnificent group of fans and again, as you say, they've come in a good number here. I'm disappointed that they're travelling the whole way back up the road with nothing to cheer, but they ultimately asked down to us because we didn't do enough to give them anything to cheer about. Well, I suppose then we can possibly rectify that now on Friday night at home. Well, it'll certainly not be easy because Longford have just picked up a, a wonderful three points there this evening, beating Kerry, so they'll come to Finn Park buoyant after uh, after a big win for them. So again, it'll be another tight affair and it's one that I look forward to. We just need to tidy up defensively and try and create a wee bit more going forward to, to try and get anything from the game but if we defend the way we did for the goal then it'll be an uphill task so this week we'll, we'll focus a lot on trying to stop balls coming into our box and then trying to do a wee bit more in the final third.